Hey guys! Okay, so I apologize for this video's quality. The reason I used Hypercam here was because my also great and new PC can handle OBS and I don't know why, but I tried everything with the settings and so on, but it kept fucking say up, so I didn't want to lose my motivation to draw Eileen, so I just quickly took Hypercam and used it to have something. The thing is, later I tried OBS again, like a day after I finished this painting, and everything's perfectly fine. I didn't change the settings at all, they're the same, but I apparently it works now. It's just really frustrating to me because there was no problem. Like, now there's a problem, back then there was a problem. I don't know what the problem was, but yeah, now you have this instead of video with better quality, so yeah, sorry for that. But let's talk about this art here for a moment, and probably really just for a moment. I had a lot of fun sketching her, and the sketch was a mess. You can just kind of see it here, but I did a sketch to get the basic pose right and edited it, and then I drew more and more and more. And over that I drew her clothes and hair and whatever else. Uh, that already messy sketch on the same layer for whatever reason. Later I cleaned it up a bit, like you can see it at the legs at some point, I think. And I really hate her head. Not from an aesthetic viewpoint, but just from making sense of it and drawing it, it was really difficult somehow. I don't know why it seems so easy, but it's really fucked up. I kind of figured it out, but it's still hair. And yeah, drawing her hair was both exhausting and fun. Especially when I got to the shading. My arm even started to hurt by then, but I still had a lot of fun. And it worked out and her hair is so awesome. Sorry, but I just really love drawing hair and drawing eyes too. I do wonder where she got that scar from though. I forgot to draw it in in this video and edit it later, just saying so you don't wonder about it. I'm trying to think of more to say about her, but we don't really know too much, so yeah. We know that she probably has some connection with other family wise. Many are guessing Eileen is Elsa's mother, which definitely could be possible considering we know nothing about Elsa's parents. And some are guessing they are sisters, which also could be possible since we know nothing about anyone in Elsa's family, to be honest. We only know that Elsa was an orphan and she was in that heavenly tower and all that happened there, of course. Not too good memories. I have to be honest, I was very unsure about Eileen's power level and I still am, especially when she faced off against Agnologia. Brandish gave us the information that she is the strongest woman among the Spriggan 12, and even Zeref, upon feeling her magic or that she was doing something with her magic, like he felt uneasy and he didn't even know what she planned. So she's strong enough to just go off and do whatever she wants in this war, apparently, or Zeref is somewhere else having his own plans. So yeah, we knew she was very strong, but we also know that Agnologia is very strong and I really couldn't say which of them is stronger when they first met. We didn't see much of either of them, we only knew about Aline from what others told us or how they reacted to her and we didn't see much of Agnologia either, like what he can do, except use his dragon breath to pretty much just for anything and almost ripping God Serena in half. Pretty sure that dude would have a comeback though, August did something with God Serena. We don't know what exactly, but he did something. And yeah, that was all we had so far. And we're the fight against Igni, but Igni wasn't at his full strength, so and I'm really not sure how serious Agnologia fought the first most time, it's really hard to tell. But yeah, when Eileen and Agnologia faced off, I didn't know who to bet on. My first theory was that they would get interrupted, because it's clearly too early for either of them to be taken out. They both have been hyped up so much and Eileen and Arthur need to meet up. I'm not entirely sure if Eileen would be able to defeat Agnologa since she rather waited for him to come to her and then use Universe 1 to make a mess out of everything instead of defeating him before using some spell or just using it, um, just using Universe 1 before I arrive. You could say braiding and then using it was smarter because then she wouldn't waste any magic energy and maybe have to wait to its universe 1 because she has too much energy or that she wants to make sure Agnoloka is 
gone from where she was, but yeah, since the spell teleports people pretty much to somewhere random instead of there apparently, it kind of doesn't make sense to me. What we have seen from both of them by now was pretty impressive considering their boss will have way stronger magic they can use in battle, so I'm very, very excited for that. I still can't believe Aline's luck though. She landed right in the throne room and seated herself there like a queen. She is so full of herself and kinda cocky, but she can be because she's powerful enough for all that and to me it seems she got the best overview over the wall. She wants to end it quickly and used a spell best suited to do so. Then again, it can all go against her now because everything has been mixed up in you and battles of spring in 12 may have fallen were interrupted. Oh, there's that comment about Agnologa floating in the ocean somewhere, which was funny to me for some reason, I don't know why. But seriously, he said Rang, he literally only needs to change into a swing for and he can fly his ass back towards left of Riora. It won't take much time. But I'm very excited to see what happens next. The last chapters were all so great, the whole arc was great so far. I really love it, it's so intense. I was only disappointed that Gertie is was back already, like, it feels so soon. Should I want him back? Should we all knew he would come back, but now? By the way, I recorded this before chapter 491 was released, so if anything got reviewed doing that and I didn't cover it here, that's why. I read some spoilers though, and not too much should have been read, except that the sisters theory is more likely title-wise, so... This week it should be about... Mavis? The title should be about Mavis and Fairy Tale, and next week it may be about Arthur and Aline, who knows. But I've read um, Aline uses some crazy magic to make her eye appear in the sky. <laughs> I don't know how or why. And she like spots Arthur's, um, and she like spots Arthur's scarlet tail and is like, Oh my god, it can't be, can it? Or something like that, I don't know really. And I think Zara, yeah, Zara contacts everyone and... I didn't probably cleared up where I was in that throne room. I hope he's always okay. Update, update! I decided to add this in after I recorded everything else, so... This is Monday. Me recording this on Monday. Chapter 491 was released, like, hours ago. I came home, like, minutes ago, so I just read on it. And yeah, I didn't indeed... I had your fucking eye in the sky. Just checking a lot of things, it's, it's crazy. And Hiso is okay. She's a mouse now. I even went full witch on her and changed her into a fucking mouse. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of freaked out when I saw the actual eye in the sky. I knew it would look crazy, but I was like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Got you, like... I think it's okay that Gaji can understand really what's going on because we know Fairy Tales, we know what's going on, but we like, what are you talking about? What are you saying? So yeah, I don't think Zara even mentioned that it was like illusion, illusion ma magic maybe it's used to create her and now she's back because of that. But yeah, that theory was right, which many people heard that she came back, <coughs> that she came back because of Maybe it's being like not reset, but very soon reset, being in the old, bo old body again, or being in a body again. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is kind of dying right now. And yeah, Terror Island is now onto land, it fused with the land. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it seems kind of weird that just so conveniently fused there, but it's gonna play some role. Maybe they're gonna escape there and be safe from the fall boy because of the some shield or something. Or retreat there because the magic is gonna be strong for them there. So we're also gonna see the Eileen squad facing off against like apparently Mirage and whoever is there like who oh, is important is there. I'm so sorry saying important, but I mean it's as in who oh, is really strong is there they would face off. My core is just Kicking the others out of the way like small fry thing. So yeah, we're gonna see Mira Jane fighting against those two. I forgot the names already. Probably gonna have Origin Saints coming at some point soon, hopefully. Maybe it's time. Since it's always like, we're gonna go there. They're gonna come there. 15 chapters later. 
and they're still not there. I don't know if it really was 15, it's just a random number I spat out, so. Yeah, this was a short update. I'm excited to see what happens next week, it probably has something to do with Eileen and Earth. I, I just hope it has actually. And yeah, we'll see. So that was all for today for the speed painting. Hope you enjoyed it anyway, and just me talking about the new chapters, and I could do this all day, I swear I could do this all day. Maybe I just become a reaction channel or something, seriously. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Leave, leave a comment down below if you have anything you want me to talk about, or do, like draw, or make a tutorial or something. Just go ahead and tell me, and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!